we're going to speak a little bit about alkyl groups. Alkyl groups, like their name suggests, are groups that are derived from alkane-like molecules. However, what's the difference? Let's take this example, CH3, CH3 in its condensed form. What is this? This is ethane. However, when we remove one of the hydrogens, this molecule, this piece of molecule or chain radical is going to want to bond to something else because we're removing one of the hydrogens. Remember, carbon can only make four single bonds or a combination with double bonds, etc. But it can only make four bonds in total. Here, carbon is bonding to this carbon and to two hydrogens, therefore it's missing one. How do we turn this into an alkyl group? I took away one of the hydrogens from ethane. I changed the name completely and this becomes F, which means two, il, which means that it's missing one of the hydrogens and it wants to bond. So from methane, we get methyl. From ethane, we get ethyl. From propane, we get propyl. And from butane, we get butyl, all with their ill ending, meaning that it's a four carbon chain arranged in a different way, but it's missing one hydrogen and it wants to bond. How can we turn this into skeletal formulas or line angle formulas, depending on the text you're looking at? Let's say we have one carbon and its bonding arm. So this is methyl. An example would be one, two, three, four, five. This is pentane. And then we have another little arm attached. My main chain is going to be one, two, three, four, five. And the UPOC name for this molecule would be 2-methyl, which is the position on the main chain at which the ethyl is attached. I said ethyl, but I meant methyl. And then we have the main chain, pentane. So five carbons, only single bonding with, at number two, we have methyl. If we have two carbons and this, plug simulating the lack of that hydrogen, we have ethyl. And then we are going to start getting different shapes. I have three and I have three carbons here. If I do it like this, it's a straight chain. Straight chain isomers for alkyl groups are called N. So this would be N propyl. And then if we add it right in the middle, here where we have this like antenna shape on the sides, or we could also rotate it because this this changes sides, it's, it's something that rotates in space. We call this isopropyl. Or depending on the book, you're checking iso without the hyphen, propyl. So if we have a really big chain, let's take pentane again. One, two, three, four, five, pentane. In the middle, we add this shape. Our longest chain is five. And we call this what? At number three. 3 isopropyl pentane. As we keep on adding more carbons to the chain, we have more shapes that appear. For example, again, straight chain with 4. This would be N butyl. The same chain ending in an antenna. 1, 2, 3, 4. And another one ending in my antenna, isobutyl. If we have the straight chain, but if we're attaching at the secondary carbon, we have sec butyl. If we have another structure, which is kind of like a little chicken foot or a little tree, however you want to look at it, we have one, two, three, four carbons starting in this little chicken foot shape, we get tert butyl, which is derived from it being attached to the tertiary carbon, secbutyl to the secondary carbon, isobutyl ending in this antenna shape, or n-butyl, which is a straight chain.